I had my very first viral video over on TikTok, all because I shared that I made close to $70,000 last year as an influencer, blogger, content creator, working around a full-time job with less than 10,000 followers at the time, because now that that video blew up, I have, I think, hit 11,000. Who knew that talking about money was the key to growth? Actually, I should have known better because the two things that sell are sex and money. So actually we're gonna watch it for a second. I was actually inspired by another TikToker, Hey Kelly Ellen, and I just loved that she was being so transparent and it motivated me to do the same. In this song, I'm gonna teach you the 12 months of the year. Are you ready? Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the 12 months of... So let's tackle two of the most common questions slash comments that I got on that video. Actually, three, we'll share a bonus one. The first question or comment I got was how slash where is the money coming from? And I am gonna get into that in a second, but the first thing I wanna say is that this is not a get rich quick scheme. It takes a lot of work. I have been content creating for almost six years now, and for the first four years, I was not not only not making money, but I was technically losing it because I was paying for my blog hosting fees and different software. And I just want to get that out of the way because I'm going to be sharing tons more tips on this channel, but it's not glamorous. It's hard work. But now on to answering the question. High level. How did I make that money. Off the top of my head, I would say 90% is from brand deals. And that is when companies pay me to share their products or their services with my audience. And I primarily post that sponsored content on Instagram, my blog, and Pinterest with a teeny, teeny bit going on TikTok and YouTube. But I am much newer to those platforms, so I usually add those as an add-on. Then I would say 5% comes from affiliate marketing. And that is when I share a link to a product and my audience clicks on that link and goes and buys something from the website, I usually get a small percentage of commission from it. My personal top two affiliate programs are Etsy, which I have signed up through Awin, as well as Amazon. While on principle, I don't really support Amazon. I will admit that being signed up for the affiliate program is great because they carry absolutely everything. As an example, I have a blog post that is a roundup of books that would be great for black children and it celebrates their natural hair. And if somebody clicks on a link to one of the books that I share that leads them to Amazon and they end up buying like, I don't know, say a lawnmower, a really high ticket price point, if the last thing that brought them to Amazon was my page, I will still get a commission. So that's super cool. Then I would say the final 5% is from ad revenue on my blog. If you have been on any website, I'm sure you are very familiar with ad placements. Sometimes they're in the sidebar, sometimes they're in between the blog post or the text itself. And if you go to my website, you will see that there are quite a few ads on my blog. I know that sometimes people can think it looks a little spammy, but we are all used to ads at this point, and it helps me offset the operational costs of running my blog. I currently use two different ad programs. I use Google AdSense as well as Ezoic. And the more traffic I get to my blog, the more views these ads get, the more money I make. And if somebody happens to click on one of those ads, I make even more. And I do wanna say it isn't that much money in the grand scheme of things, but it does help, again, offset the operating costs of my blog. The second comment that I got over and over and over again on that video was teach me please. And the irony is that I have actually been creating content creation tips for a very long time. And they have performed decently, but never as well as say a selfie or the more superficial content until that viral post at least. But I do understand that people are more interested in a topic if there is money involved. And I do know that saying how much I make does add a little bit of credibility to my content creation tips. But the good news is that I do already have a ton of tips out 
there. I have tons of blog posts on my website, comfygirlwithcurls.com, and I outline there a lot of your basic blogging questions. So I cover what is the best blogging platform to use? How much does it cost to run a blog? How much time does it take to blog? I have a blog launch checklist there. I do also have some great tips on my main channel, Comfy Girl Curls. I'll link them in the description and above, but I am planning to actually migrate a lot of that content here so that all of the content creation tips are in one spot. And on the topic of this channel, I am just so excited to start building out all the content creation tips and answering all of your questions. So if you have more questions, definitely drop them below. I'm planning to do an in-depth video on everything that goes on behind the scenes of my brand. And the third comment that I just wanted to acknowledge that I was getting a lot is taxes. And I think a lot of people were saying like, well, you better not be telling the internet this because you're gonna get in trouble with the tax man. But I approach everything that I do online as a business. And that means as a business, I do indeed pay my taxes. My accountant follows me on social media, so there's no way I was gonna be telling the internet one thing and my accountant another. So that is it for now. Thank you to all the new subscribers and followers across all the platforms and on my main channel and this new one. I just appreciate you beyond words. As I mentioned, I do have tips on my blog as well as a little bit of a series going on over on TikTok. So if you can't wait till the next YouTube video, definitely go check those out. And if you found any value in this video, it would mean the world if you gave it a thumbs up and turned on notifications so that you don't miss the next one. Until next time.